Hello, 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 and welcome. I am your mom of three in NYC, and I am back with another video. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. Come on in, it's awesome to have you. My name is Teneza. I'm the mother of three brilliant. Like, I believe my kids are geniuses. I do, I do. Baby girl, genius in reading, in, in uh, mathematics, in music. BB1, genius in reading, in history, in facts, and spelling. And BB2, you can't tell me he's not a genius. Can't tell me. The way he sings along to melodies, he's a genius. Three kids, we live in the heart of NYC, and I would love for you to join my YouTube family, my tribe, and all you have to do is hit that button down below, the one that says S-U-B-S-C-R-I-B-E. Subscribe, I would love to have you join my YouTube family. You have just clicked on a video. You've clicked on Married at First Sight, the UK edition, season seven, episode 19. I have a lot of notes, y'all. A lot of notes. A lot. Let's get started, okay? So the episode begins with the fourth commitment ceremony. All the couples enter together, which is different because before they entered pair by pair. So I have my notes. All couples enter together instead of one couple at a time. The first couple on the couch is Thomas and Adrian. Adrian needs someone to nurture and Thomas needs nurturing. So they understand why they were matched. Super affectionate, they were kissing, touching on the couch. They have a, a true friendship that's forming. Thomas, it's funny because the experts say, Thomas, you kiss everyone. Like how is, what's the difference between them and when you kiss your husband, Adrian? And he was like, uh, because I, I wanna go to bed with Adrian. <laughs> Don't wanna go to bed with those people. It's okay with Adrian if it takes six weeks or six months or six years for SEX. But Thomas says, no, I can, I can wait six months. That's it. That's it. Hashtag period. Period poo. The experts do like the way that both Thomas and Adrian are forward thinking. They're talking about their relationship in the future. It shows their commitment to the process and to each other. What's their vote? Thomas votes to stay. Adrian votes to stay. The key for the upcoming week together is safety, providing safety for each other in their relationship. Up next, George and April. April says that George says he trusts her, but she feels like he doesn't. George says he does not trust April with his heart and he does have insecurities. There's a fear of rejection and humiliation. Pause, pause. Today's speaking. George needs therapy. George, he has gone through a traumatic event. His first wife left him and four kids. He needs therapy. How, in order for him to be the best George for himself first and for April, his new wife, he needs to have someone help him process the trauma of his first marriage. 100%. He needs a therapist. On a weekly, by whatever he can do. He needs someone to help work through that trauma because as he works through it, he's going to get healing from it. But he's carrying that baggage of his first wife leaving him with four. He's a single father of four kids, you guys. Four kids. He needs therapy. All right, I'm off my soapbox. Back into my review. Birch mentions Thomas is telling everyone that April, his wife, is fake. And Thomas leaves. Thomas, from, from episode one, Thomas is here for the drama, right? So he loves a scene. Initially, the scenes of drama involved him and his husband, Adrian, and there could have been toxic relationship because they're doing so well, there has to be drama somewhere else. And unfortunately, that is with his friendship with April. April asks experts, how can she not allow other people's opinion of her 
to affect her. Like, how can she not? And according to the experts, it takes the trust that she has in her relationship with George. Consistency, compassion, and transparency. Those three factors are what's going to make up the foundation of trust that she has with her husband. And that will create like a bubble around them, right? So if she has this bubble of consistency, compassion, and transparency with her husband, George, no matter what anyone says or does, they are insulated. And that's what her goal should be. They vote. Are you going to leave or stay? April says she's going to stay. And so does George. He's going to stay as well. This week, focus on their relationship. Let this week be a reset. Quote, a shield of trust forming. Up next to the couch, Jenna and Zoe. The good thing about Jenna and Zoe is that they continually resolve their issues and come back stronger. This upcoming week, they're going to the homestays and Jenna's family is first. And they so cute how they reassure each other. What do you vote? Jenna votes to stay in the marriage. Zoe votes to stay in the marriage. Next up, Sophie and Jonathan. Sophie is concerned about Jonathan's comments about her body, about her going uh, to the gym with Duca and Matt, how she should not be doing leg exercises. Unless it's with illness or medication, he does not want a wife to gain a lot of weight. And According to Jonathan, if he offends someone, he doesn't care. It's his opinion, he says. He's every right to voice his opinion. Jonathan doesn't understand where insult, what, where the insult was. That was his opinion. I don't want you to work out your legs. I don't want you to gain weight. You'll get bigger. I don't want a bigger wife. According to the experts, because of comments like these, Jonathan lacks emotional intelligence. It's been a couple of minutes there. Jonathan sees it as just him voicing his opinion, but he, as an adult and as a married man now, has to understand the words that you say affect other people. So to you, it's just my opinion. It's not a big deal. No words. There, the Bible even says the power of life and death is in the tongue. What you say matters. And especially when you're getting to know someone, especially when that person is your wife, everything you say matters and so again it's my opinion yes it's your opinion but it's also it's hurting someone's feelings period your opinion can hurt others so how can you voice your opinion at the right time in the right place with the person that you care for not as she's like getting ready to go to the gym don't do legs don't gain too much weight Right. Jonathan also told Sophie this week that he usually goes into a relationship with passion. He lacks that intensity with Sophie. I get it. But again, you chose to get married at first sight. That's understandable why that passion will be missing. He's dramatic. Jonathan's a character. I can tell already. Even though they would just add to the experiment, I can already tell Jonathan's a character. When they, he has a big old deep sigh being dramatic, like he's a character. When they have to vote for do they want to leave or stay, Sophie goes first. She wants to stay in the marriage and so does Jonathan. He wants to stay in the marriage. I think deep down he's a good guy. I'm not saying he's not a good guy. I'm just saying that he needs to gain emotional intelligence and grow up a little bit because if we all walked around just being honest, like you can't have relationships in that way. You can't, you can't. You have to be sensitive to the other person and how they might perceive what you are saying. Keisha and Kwame, they're doing well, really well. They're doing so well that Kwame feels like, like they don't need to be in the experiment any longer. They're ready for the real world. And to the experts, um, that's a red flag. We're gonna get to it. We're gonna get to it. Keisha, K Kwame. Kwame is hiding some things, you guys, but we're not gonna to touch on that now. Wait, I'm gonna to get to it. We're gonna to get to it. But they're doing well now. Kwame is still infatuated with Keisha and her cooking. I feel like they're at a good place right now. They vote to stay or to leave the marriage. Keisha says she wants to stay. Kwame says he wants to stay. There's a twist. The experts talk to all of the couples as a collective. Gemma and Matt, Whitney and Duca. 
So before they go couple by couple, right? Couple stands up, they call them, they stand up, they come to the couch. The experts have a back and forth with one couple at a time. Things switch up now. Because of what happened during the couple's retreat, the experts have now chosen to speak to two couples at the same time because this conversation and these issues involve people from both couples. Experts straight up, they say, what happened? Whitney says, I've got butterflies. What happened at the dinner party? Jenna tells the experts how Matt took her aside in a group setting. And the most disrespectful thing was that Matt and Whitney shared a bed. Matt says he just wants to be happy. Whitney says, that guy makes me happy. The experts ask Whitney, do you feel like you've done anything wrong? She says, no, I don't. Whitney says, the relationship, it's a marriage. Not just, it's a marriage, Whitney. You are married. You are a married woman. Sorry, guys. I'm passionate. Yeah, okay, so if you have not been getting along with your husband, we get that. It's dead in the water. We get that. But you're married. So even though you're not getting along with your husband, he's still your husband. Uh, I'm not getting into it. Unless you want me to in the comments below, drop me a flame. Drop me a flame. I will get into it if you want me to. A whole separate video on why Tanae's has canceled Whitney. And Even though Whitney says that her relationship with Duca has been dead in the water for a long time. Even though at the last commitment ceremony, Whitney voted to leave the relationship. Even though Matt and his wife have not stayed in the same bed since their honeymoon. You have 1,285 reasons, but you're still married. Period. So I understand their attraction. And like I mentioned in my video last week, they bonded over grief. And unfortunately, she's lost her mom. He's losing his mom. Unfortunately, fortunately slash fortunately, grief can bond you to another person. He is going through what she went through. Irregardless, what's most egregious is that you all are both married. Do what you want to do. Y'all are grown. Y'all are adults. But respect the institution of marriage. Respect the other couples. Respect the experts. And respect the process. Off my soapbox. It first ask Whitney and Duca their decisions. Remember last week, Whitney wanted to leave last week. Duca wanted to stay. So because he said stay, they had to wait a whole other week. Duca goes first. He wants to leave. He's been disrespected. He's been embarrassed. He's tried his hardest, 100%. I'm a fan of Duca. He wants to leave. Whitney now likes Matt. She wants to leave. Gemma, I feel bad for Gemma. I do. She wanted to be married. She had fallen for Matt. Drop two flames in the comments below. I have a whole commentary on Gemma. Anywho, she votes to leave and Matt votes to leave. All right, here's the kicker. Based on extensive questionnaires, interviews with these experts, you are scientifically matched with someone that would compliment and support you. Duca was matched with Whitney, did not work. Matt was matched with Gemma, did not work. Whitney and Matt have formed a new couple. And not only, they're so bold, y'all. These That's what gets me the most. These, they're so brazen. They're so brazen. And I get it. You can't help who you love. Blah, 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 blah. You can't help who you fall for. Blah, 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 blah. What you can't help is being respectful of your marriage. In the South, there's this quote, lose them how you get them. You lose them how you get them. And the fact that Matt wants the experiment with Whitney to continue. What? He wants to continue this experiment with Whitney. Someone who was matched and married. Not just matched, married to someone else. Gemma says, how come Whitney loses the whole marriage and gets a second chance 
and takes mine. I'm here for it, Gemma. All other couples seem to not be here for this, except for Jonathan. Of Jonathan, Sophie, Jonathan says, why deny them happiness? You guys, these people are bold, bold and brazen. I get it. You can't help, I get that, but you're still married, period. Period, enter, tab, shift the, the capital letter and then start a whole new sentence, but you're still married. So at least respect the institution of marriage and respect the other couples and the, and the experts, but they don't. They have zero, 0.00, 0, 0 respect. <laughs> All right, tribe, this has been, oh my goodness, this is crazy. It's getting crazy now. I've enjoyed doing this recap with you. I look forward to seeing you in our next review. Bye for now, tribe.